First of all, let's start with uh, rest in peace to oh, Fire Mama, Mama Jambi Kweka. Yes. Man, she passed away on Tuesday this yeah, week. Yeah. Um, after like a 19-year-long battle with endometriosis. Yeah. And that is a disease that usually affects women where the lining of the uterus grows in other parts of the body. Mm. So, you know, every month, you know, when you get your period, there's the uterus falling apart because you didn't make a baby, right? Mm. So instead of um, the that lining of the uterus coming out of your body, it grows somewhere else. Mm. Like it can grow on your heart, the kidneys, liver. Mm. So for Jambi, it had spread to her lungs. Mm. And her lungs used to collapse mm. like every month. That's why she like was in and out the country, always okay. like seeking medication and stuff yeah, yeah. and treatment. And I think by the time she was passing away, she had made a post that said like it had spread to her heart, really? her teeth, yeah, her liver. So like she was in very critical condition. And she oh, man. before um, Ruto went mm. with the guys to Tyler Perry's. Mm. studio mm. she actually asked him yo uh, atlanta georgia has like one of the best facilities for women who are suffering with endometriosis mm. could you please you know make a visit so that you know women who are battling this mm. uh who don't have the means the funding uh, can get treatment yeah but um i don't know i don't think that happened i really felt like you know the system failed her we yeah. failed her um there should be better health care. She shouldn't have had to, you know, go through all that pain and suffering. Yeah. Um, and also, like, get her finances depleted, mm. um, battling this disease. May she rest in peace. Condolences to all yes. the friends, oh, yeah. family, to family. all the fans as well. The reggae yeah. community. community, this has hit hard. Yeah. I, I met her once in 2021 mm. when we were doing uh, the media tour, the media launch, actually, for the Hip Hop Awards of that year. Mm. And... Um, I asked her to do a drop for me. I think she'd just come from from recovery or from treatment. Mm. So she was like looking frail, but she was always like full of energy and fire. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I'm telling her how I'd listen to her on radio from like, you know, mm. you know when we're talking about being reggae heads? Yeah. When Metro FM was playing like 100% reggae, that yeah. was my that was, shit. Uh, yeah. 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 I used to listen to her and I, I, I actually thought she was uh, like a very large like a big woman because of her voice. Yeah. And then when I met her, I'm like, girl. Yo, listen, she made me feel like a superstar. Yeah. In December last year. What happened? <laughs> so we we had gone to Kindle Bay mm -hmm. with my sister and my cousin. My sister hasn't been in the country for close to like 20 something years. Mm -hmm. And my cousins, right? Mm -hmm. So I get to Kindle Bay and the hotel we're staying at, mm -hmm. immediately the, the people that Walked there, mm -hmm. recognized me. Mm. So they're there like, yeah, what's up, Nini? So at first, my sister and my cousin are looking at me like, okay, so who, who this? <laughs> so cool. The next morning, mm. we're going for breakfast. Guess who I ran into mm. at the door? Jambi. Jambi. <laughs> oh. she, she, she had a gig uh, in Kindube, and then she was supposed to go to another place. Mm. So she was staying over that night and then go to the other place. So when... We met her. So my cousin and my sister, they can't, like, they recognize her. Like, mm. she is a superstar. Mm. But she's there giving me that. Like, oh, Zach, what's up? So they are looking at me like, yo, who is you, this is guy? You? So, yeah, I felt so special. Yeah. So, yeah. She had a way. Cause even she had a when, way, yeah. Even when I, when I told her, like, I was fangirling and being like, oh, my God, I've listened mm. to your radio my whole life. Nini, nini. Yeah. Star. And then she's like, ah, Ruby. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so, it was, yeah, it, man. Was, it was it was crazy. May she rest with absolutely. the angels, man. It's, yeah, uh, she's fought it's a good awesome. fight. She's yeah. really like advocated for uh, like b conversations around period health, menstrual hygiene, mm. um, endometriosis as well. Yeah, and you know I think that shouldn't have to die with her. We definitely need to speak more about it, and I think other people who are also battling the disease should also talk about it more. Yeah, yeah. So that people. You know, get get. Yeah, because I think I've seen a couple of like two, three other people. Yeah. Who suffer from the same. Yeah. Yeah. So. And and I saw someone who was saying like treating it is very expensive. Yeah. Because NHIF only works for government um, officials, like civil servants. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really cover the treatment costs, so you have to get into your pocket. Yeah. To actually treat the disease, and you know it's sad. 
that that's yeah. a celebrity death the, yeah. that definitely and definitely yeah. hit yeah, she, it may did. she rest in yeah. peace rest in peace